Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lesson. We have number 6 of the unit today. We are going to be rearranging variable equations again, but they are going to have more variables. It's going to get a little bit more complicated. We'll work our way up to it. So, let's do the first problem. We have xk equals v plus w, and we're going to be solving for x. It means we want to get x all by itself. We're going to take k and we're going to move it down to the bottom on the other side, right? Multiplied by x, which means it's divided on the other side. So x is equal to w plus v. I wrote it the other way around. I don't know why. Am I going crazy today? And divided by k. And that is our answer. v plus w, w plus v, it's all the same. All right, let's do another one. We have ac is equal to dr, and we're solving, in this case, for a. So the C is on the top, we're going to move it around to the bottom the, um, to get rid of it from that side, to, solve the, uh, to isolate for A. A is equal to dr divided by C. And that's it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We have next, x over m is equal to n divided by p. We are solving, in this case, for x. So we want to get x all by itself. We need to get rid of the m on this side. Since it's on the bottom, this is dividing. When we move it across the equal sign, it's going to be multiplied. So x is equal to n times m divided by p. And that's too many letters, too close together in the alphabet. OK, let's do another one. Let's do another one. This one is a little bit more complicated. G equals negative y plus c over x. And I'm going to show you in this one a trick that you will use, hopefully, in algebra for the rest of your life. Um, it's very useful. I use it all the time. So we are going to try to get x all by itself. So it's over here. We're going to get moving this part over. It's negative on this side. It's going to be positive y on the other side. So we have g plus y is equal to c over x. Okay, And in this case, what we have is um, two fractions, really. Like this whole thing is over 1. Okay, And what we're going to do is to keep everything the same in this equation is when we have something on the bottom of this side, of the equation that we want to isolate for, we can take the bottom on this side and the top on the other side and switch them. Okay, let me rewrite this more clearly. Just I'm going to rewrite the same thing. So g plus y over one is equal to c over x. And when we have a fraction and we have the variable on the bottom that we want to know, we can go ahead and switch it with what's on the top on the other side. Okay, so what we're gonna be left with is x over one is equal to c over g plus y, right? And now we can just drop the one. It's not important for it to be there. It doesn't actually represent everything, anything. It was just useful for here. So our final answer, I'll write it in blue. Maybe that'll be different, I don't know. x is equal to c divided by g plus y. That is our final answer. So when the variable we want to know is on the bottom, we just take it and we flip it with what's across on top. We switch it around, and often that will just solve all our problems. We could do it in a much longer way, and I can show you that in class, but that is a nice trick to use. Let's do a couple more. We might use that trick again. I don't know. I actually haven't gone this far, that far yet. Okay. Let's go, m over a is equal to n plus p, and we are going to go ahead and solve for a. Oh my goodness, we're gonna use it right here. a is on the bottom, and we don't know like what it is, that's, that's what we're trying to solve for. So I'm gonna rewrite this equation again in our fraction form. So m over a is equal to n plus p over one, we can go ahead and switch them. Since the variable we want is on the bottom, we can go ahead and switch it with what's on the top on the other side. So 
m divided by n plus p is equal to a. I just got rid of the one already. I'm gonna do my last step where I flip it around because what I wanna solve for, I wanna be on the left. a is equal to m over n plus p. Okay, so when we, whatever we have on the top, we're gonna to go ahead and switch it with what's on the bottom when we wanna know what's on the bottom because we wanna solve for it. Let's do one more. XK is equal to W plus V. We're gonna solve for X. Is this the same problem as what's up top? It is the exact same problem as what's up top except W and V are switched around. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead. Okay, we did it, yay. Uh-oh, the redundancy of some questions. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, please stop me in class, send me an email, let me know, but I'll see you soon.